Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We are looking at AMC once again and OMG, what a bad day they had. You can see that if we look at the price, just focusing on that, we still have red lettering with a white background, which means that the price is still three standard deviations above its 23 day moving average. But the unfortunate part for AMC right now is that if you know, if you notice this light green, actually light blue, I don't know, fuchsia, I don't even know what color, but you notice how it sticks out with how much uh, blue there is there. That means that there is essentially a compression in volatility, which is insane. And what we're seeing probably is the end of a volatility era and the beginning of a new one. And today we saw that the price is down 12.48%. After yesterday, it was up 32.95%. So it, you're not wiping out all of the gains, but it doesn't feel great, especially if you were long from yesterday. The thing I do want to point out, though, is that, again, volatility is resetting, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. We're going to go look at the AMC volatility. This is right here. So the volatility has essentially collapsed off of a hill and is now down at this level. It is now down at uh, 0.361. I'm going to go back and just show you. We're looking at 0.361. So that is what the volatility is that we're looking at. The volatility is going to reset, and what this generally does, we don't know what the shape is going to be, but you can kind of start to get the idea. It looks like a sine wave. It looks like two mountains. It looks like a valley in between, whatever you want to call it. But essentially, it's going to be zero bounded, so it can't go below zero, but it can fall as close to it as possible. And then this blue line is the representation of the price correlation to the volatility. Well, as you can tell, that's incredibly negative. So what I would suspect is that we're actually going to get a complete explosion of volatility in the next day or two here, where we're going to be at a low level, and then we're going to start breaking back out like we did before at a low level start breaking back out like we did before at a low level start breaking back out like we did before what we want to see though we want to actually see what this blue line did here as the volatility starts to rise we want to see the blue line start to rise with it so fortunately this is incredibly negative in the correlation between price and volatility right now but this is setting up for something that could be a remarkable move going forward inside of amc and i say that because if we look at longer term the price correlation is rising if we look in the longer term, the volatility on the weekly for AMC, while it is not necessarily very high, it has been it's it's been rising since when? Since the middle of May here. We've only been going up. So it does tell me that there is at least hope that we're going to see the volatility continue to break out because the weekly is breaking out and that the correlation is going to go positive because on the weekly it's going to go positive. You want to believe in the joint in the kind of the larger viewpoint of exactly what may happen from a trend perspective sometimes, even though you're not getting a lot of confirmation bias when it comes to the actual moves on the daily price action. Now, it is interesting to see that this uh, indicator went, went from essentially at 50% to 60.2%. That should be expected when you get a move like you got yesterday in AMC, which was a whole lot of nothing, a big move, but it really didn't go anywhere, even though it did go somewhere if you bought the week before. We're going to go back to the daily data. And I want you to show, I want you to see something that is really important to me is that we did get a flip on the, we got a flip on the five day, the 15 day, the, the one month, and potentially on the three month and the six month soon. Now, these are only above, these are only below at 4.6%. I don't know what, uh, which row 114 is, but it still has to stay above, it'd have to be above 550 or 565. So it needs to really get above six from this level for it to maintain positive. But even if it doesn't in the next like month or so, probably in like the middle of August, maybe even the end of August, you're going to start to get to a place where being above five bucks is going to mean you have a positive rolling three month, as well as probably like six month return. So that is really positive to see. We do see on the signal, we've got to go long, go long and go long on the short term, intermediate term and longer term for a trend signal in terms of trading. And then on the trend signal, we do have a bullish, bullish, bullish on the short term, intermediate term and longer term as well. That's incredibly positive to see. There are some really positive things going on in AMC, even if today you feel like you got carjacked, like you feel like your account was broken into and somebody just scammed you. And I don't want to cast any blame or any shame, but I'm just saying, watch the links you click on. Because this is the type of behavior that a stock with this type of, not necessarily volatility, but this type of behavior where you are getting these erratic moves and where the market really isn't defined for bullish or bearish. And it's just kind of a sideways action. But if you want to catch a falling knife or you want to be at the, or you want to catch the turn and at the very bottom of something when it goes from bearish to bullish, this is what you have to deal with. This isn't the type of game that I like to play. Again, this is not financial advice. I don't have any position. If I did, I could sell it at any time. I just like to tell you the reality and the facts of that. If you're going to play with something that's like AMC and you're going to really put your money into it, you need to understand that there is no, nothing serious here. This is the equivalent of the of the um, Logan Roy meme, which I love you, but you're not serious people. AMC is something that you play with. It is not something that you keep in your account unless you are completely OK with this up and down kind of volatility. I don't know if you believe something deeper like an ape or AMC, whatever, but tell me what I see. It looks like this could be long term, possibly positive. But in the short term, you could see some aggressive moves up and down. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Or are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is it even a good review? 
And before you go, subscribe to the New High newsletter. We send you 25 stocks breaking out every single Sunday for free to your inbox. Come get some. I'll talk to you soon.